Yeah, let's start. The first topic is acid base disturbance. Acid base disturbance. This is a very, very important qu question. You always get question from this topic throughout the world. Whichever exam you write, you get one question. So, before we discuss this topic, let's learn the basic concepts. Let's learn the basic concepts of acid-base disturbance. Basics. Basic, basic concepts before we really come to question of topic of acid base, basic concept. So, let us talk about basic. What is normal pH of the blood? Normal is 7.36 to 7.44. Average I take as 7.40. For easy calculation, I am taking 7.40 as the normal pH of the blood. So, obviously, anything which is more than 7.4 will be alkali and anything below 7.4 will be acidic. Obviously, because we have taken 7.4 as the normal pH. Now, here I would like to clarify one point. Remember, in our school days when we read our physics and chemistry, we were taught that 7 is the normal pH and th anything above 7 is alkali and anything below 7 is acid. But remember, in medical profession, medical sciences, the normal pH I am taking as 7.4, the average is 7.36 to 7.44. In fact, this was the question in this year or India PG also, what is the normal pH? The latest question. Tha. But more than the question is, that anything above 7.40 will be alkali and anything below 7.4 will be acidic. This basic concept, you have to be very clear about basic fundas. Okay? So, we move further. We move further. What is the normal? Again, let us go more by a basics. The normal bicarbonate. Normal bicarbonate is 22 to 28. And for easy calculation, I am taking 24 for easy calculation. And of course, the normal PaCO2 is 40 to 45 millimeter of mercury. So, till now, we are talking about basic concept about the normal values. Normal values. So, we are talking about normal values. So, what all we have to remember is, first word is, 7.40. Second word you have to remember is 24 and third word is 40 to 45. So, till now you have to remember only three words. All of you speak out wherever my finger goes. Everybody has to speak out. Okay, wherever my finger goes. Number one, yes, 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 that is all. So, three word 7.40. 24, 40, 45. Okay. Now we talk about more about basics. More basics we talk about compensation. Next basic concept is compensation. Compensation. So let's learn the basic concept about compensation. Now what is the compensation? Well, normal body can survive. I told you was never normal pH is 7.40. Just now we discuss. Body can survive up to 7 pH and here up to 7.70. The body can survive up to th this thing. This is the range where body can survive. And that means if the pH goes below 7 or about 7.80, 7.70, body does not survive. So, and Whenever there is some disturbance of this pH occurs, body will try to bring back 
the pH to 7.40. What I mean to say, suppose there is some disturbance occurs, pH goes to 7.60. The body will try to bring back to 7.40 or suppose the pH has gone to 7.10, body will again bring back to 7.40. That is the meaning of compensation. So now, if I asked you, what is the pH at compensation? Answer is 7.40. Got it? 7.40. Yeah. So now let's read more basics. Let's read more basics. Look at the board now. This is bicarbonate is what? This is alkali. We have read in our school days. And CO2 is acid. This we have read in our school days. So bicarb is alkali. And being controlled by kidneys. This you know. This is so simple. No need to talk to this. And the CO2 is being controlled by the lungs. Everybody knows. Even a child of 7th class knows that CO2 is being controlled by lungs. Okay, and of course, bicarb is the alkali, CO2 is a acid. Okay, being controlled by lungs and being controlled by kidneys. Now let's see what is the mechanism of acidosis and alkalosis. This is a very very important basic concept. This, if you understand, the things are very simple for you. So look at me. This is acid and this is alkali. Acid alkali. Gain of acid is acidosis. Loss of acid is alkalosis. Gain of alkali is alkalosis. Loss of alkali is acidosis. I repeat again. Acid alkali. Suppose there is gain of acid in the body. That lead to acidosis. And suppose there is a loss of alkali. That lead to acidosis. Gain of alkali is alkalosis. Loss of acid is alkalosis. It means what? Acidosis can occur due to gain acid or loss alkali. And alkalosis can occur due to gain alkali or loss acid. So there are two mechanisms of acidosis and there are two mechanisms of alkalosis. Got it? Now, any disturbance of CO2 is respiratory and any disturbance of bicarbonate is metabolic. That is the basic. So having learned the basic, now we talk about compan, we come to diagnostic feature. Diagnostic feature are diagnostic feature. Diagnostic features. Diagnostic features. Now suppose we got one patient who has increase CO2. CO2 is what? Acid. So gain acid is acidosis. And any panga of CO2 is what? Respiratory. But I told you, any panga of CO2 is respiratory. And any panga of bicarbonate is metabolic. Any panga of CO2 is respiratory or any panga of bicarbonate is metabolic. So increase CO2 means it should be what? CO2 is acidosis. Okay, and any panga of CO2 is it's respiratory. So this is what? Res respiratory acidosis. This is respiratory acidosis. Why? CO2 is, any panga of CO2 is respiratory. Gain of acid is acidosis. So that's what increase that, that should be increased CO2 is respiratory acidosis. Now, what will happen if CO2 goes down? Some panga of CO2 is respiratory and loss of acid lead to what? Alkalosis. So now we understood that if in loss of CO2 is respiratory alkalosis. Similarly, suppose we get increased bicarbonate. I told you any disturbance of bicarbonate is metabolic. So it has to be something metabolic. Metabolic. And 
गेन ऑफ एल्कलीस एल्कलोसिस तो इस शुड बी मेटाबॉलिक एल्केलोसिस एंड सपोज इज वन पेशेंट हूज हूज बाय कार्बेट इज रिड्यूस तो सम पंगा ऑफ बाय कार्बेट इज मेटाबॉलिक एंड लो एल्कलीस एसिडोसिस तो इट शुड बी मेटाबॉलिक एसिडोसिस friends this is the box number 1 all of you make the box the way i am making box number 1 all of you make and they, oh, this only this should be written in your box quickly so now this is the very very important box this what you have to remember so now all of you have to speak behind me wherever my pen goes so bolenge perfect okay this is the basic now having learned the basic concept about the acidosis alkalosis metabolic and respiratory and as now we come to the actual question of medicine what we call as compensation about which i told you whenever some disturbance occur body will always bring back the ph to what level normal 7.40 that is the compensation so now we really come to the medicine this was a basic concept what we have studied nicely this is all basic concept so now we enter the medicine side the third is now we talk about compensation 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 so our aim is to bring back the ph to 7.40 that we discuss so now let's take a case Let's discuss the case. I have a case whose pH is seven point two one. So obviously, is a case of acidosis. We know that anything below seven point four zero is acidosis. His bicarbonate is ten. So obviously, is a case of metabolic acidosis because low bicarb is metabolic, and his pa co2 is 40 normal obviously this is normal so we will call this as a case of acute metabolic acidosis acute metabolic acidosis okay why the so ph is reduced metabolic acidosis and co2 is normal acute well just now we learned that bicarb is controlled by kidneys and co2 is controlled by lungs this you know well lungs and kidneys are very good friends lungs and kidneys are very good friends this is the scenario going on kidney gives a call to lungs kidney give a call he gives a call by mobile phone karta hai kidney lungs ko hello lungs how are you lungs kehta hai oh ho bilkul theek hu perfectly all right baitha hu nice room me and listening to dr bhatia lungs kehta hai now lungs puchta kidney se aur hello kidney how are you kidney kehta oh very bad very bad lungs kehta kya hua kya hua kidney kehta metabolic acidosis ph 7.21 very bad lungs kehta don't worry main teri help karunga a friend in need is friend indeed hai nahi hai wo dost hi kya jo dost ki musibat mein kaam na aaye okay friend indeed is friend indeed now lungs will help him how can lungs help let's learn the basic lungs has acid in his in, with this is control now normal respirate respirate is about 14 to 16 is too childish to talk to you normally our we are all breathing at the rate of 14 to 16 now immediately lungs will do what look at me now look at me zoom karenge mujhe ha lungs will do like this thing ha 
what did you notice immediately lungs increase his rate of breathing and the depth of breathing what is this breathing known as ko small breathing you can write at one side ko small breathing ko small breathing also known as also known as acidotic breathing acidotic breathing because if you see in acidosis normally that question come on this very frequently asked question ko small breathing is seen in acidosis what happened increase rate of breathing and increase depth of breathing and now what will happen let's see what will have going to happen here so after some time this goes to maybe 36 this goes to about 14 and 7.30 and after some time this become 31 17 and 7.40 compensate and our aim is to bring back the ph to 7.40 i discuss aim is to bring the ph to 7 and he has been compensated okay so this is the first case now let's see let's see one more case let us see one more case more case we have one patient whose ph is 7.60 what is this alkalosis obviously his bicarb is 70 so obviously is a case of metabolic alkalosis you know any panga of bicarb is metabolic and raise alkali is alkalosis co2 is again normal 40 40 so same story kidney gives a call to the lungs i am in trouble well kid lungs is a good best friend best of the best friend he is going to help him now lungs has acid body need acid okay now lungs will slow down so now rate of breathing will go down and depth of breathing will go down in other way around in summary there will be shallow breathing shallow shallow breathing will be there slow trunk lung shall try to shallow lung shallow breathing will be there got it so very shallow breathing so that lungs try to retain as much co2 as possible so now what will happen here let's see and after some time this become 46 this become 62 7.50 and after some time this become 51 this become 59 and 7.40 and ultimately we have compensated we understood the meaning of compensation ph is 7.40 perfect now let's see one more case we have one case whose ph is 7.22 what is this very good acidosis this is 24 what is this normal and this is 70 now So now i don't need to talk to tell to this illustrious batch is a case of acute respiratory acidosis obviously now lungs give a call to his friend kidney that i am in trouble kidney will going to help him how kidney has alkali so obviously kidney what because body has acid body need alkali so body going to compensate in this way this become 30 and of course this become 65 7.30 then later on this become 34 this become 61 and 7.40 compensated obviously ph is 7.40 is the meaning of compensation let's see one more case ph 7.61 what is this alkalosis zoom karenge zara 7.1 7.61 alkalosis this is 24 normal and this is this is 10 what is this is a case of 
respiratory alkalosis now what kidney kidney is going to do how going kidney is going to help him out kidney will throw out the alkali i hope by now you understood the basic mechanism so now this become 20 this become 13 7.50 and after some time this become 16 this become 17 and 7.40 compensated okay so now ultimately you understood that meaning of compensation is to bring the ph to normal is compensation having learned the basic now you do the let's you do the question 1 and 2 i hope you have gone through the question so question number 1 it was the latest aims question hai ye wala ph 7.50 alkalosis co2 is 30 so this is obviously is a case of respiratory alkalosis answer is b bombay is very simple question but this was the latest question question number 2 i presume that you are gone through the question in this question ph is 7.40 so obviously it has been compensated so option a and b are ruled out this was again the latest question hai ye wala bhi this question came in may aims number 12 so a and b ruled out because ph is 7.40 now how much is the co2 20 so this cannot be c so this cannot be respiratory acidosis how much is the bicarbonate 8 well this is the best ph is 7.40 the best answer is d delhi is the best answer because compensated why ph is 7.40 and why metabolic acidosis because bicarb is 8 hence the best answer of this question is of 2 is d delhi now let me give you more insight of this question now in the same question number 2 you convert option c as question c you convert into respiratory alkalosis and question d also you convert into metabolic alkalosis now baki rest all remaining same now the answer become respiratory alkalosis c now the question become answer become c that means this question can be asked to you from the angle of metabolic and from the angle of respiratory also so in the format of metabolic the answer is d in the format of respiratory answer is c normally in this format question doesn't come in the world throughout the world in olnia pg once once this format question came in 1999 and after long gap this question came in aims number 12 with the question what i have given to you aims 12 so it came almost after 13 year this question came in fact the usual format question which come throughout the world in that case you don't need ph you don't need ph you don't need ph something unbelievable how can you talk about acid base without ph yes throughout the world normally we don't come now let's see what format question come look at board now look at board now this is bicarb is 17 is a case of metabolic acidosis co2 is 31 this is the case of what respiratory very good alkalosis bicarb 59 metabolic very good alkalosis and co2 51 metabol or respiratory yeah acidosis so look at this thing bicarb co2 10 and 10 now everybody should speak out this is what metabolic acidosis respiratory very good alkalosis 10 and 70 metabolic acidosis and this is what respiratory acidosis both 
सेवेंटी एंड टेन मेटाबॉलिक एल्क्लोसिस रेस्पिरेटरी एल्क्लोसिस बोथ एंड सेवेंटी एंड सेवेंटी मेटाबॉलिक एसिडोसिस रेस्पिरेटरी सॉरी मेटाबॉलिक एल्क्लोसिस सो सॉरी बड़ा एल्क्लोसिस रेस्पिरेटरी एसिडोसिस तो मेटाबॉलिक एल्क्लोसिस रेस्पिरेटरी एसिडोसिस this are all basics so now ha you have learned the basic about this particular format now we do the question number 3 interpret the following data i presume you have already done the read the question so in this case bicarbonate is 8 this is metabolic acidosis and co2 is 20 respiratory alkalosis so the best answer of this question will be c is the best answer okay now friends look at me look at me now to camera dur le jayenge wherever whenever you will get a question on acidosis or alkalosis it will be always a long paragraph always a long paragraph for it means to even to read the question you need minimum 3 minutes to read that question okay the question format what i given is very summarized form but actually they give a lot of story will they will give lot of stories and all this thing lot of finding all this thing but 3 minute are consumed and in pg entrance for one question you get about 36 second that means this question is going to consume your time of at least 8 to 10 question friends whichever movie indian movie you see hindi movie punjabi tamil telugu whatever movies you see every film has a same story line there is one hero and one heroine they meet in the first scene of the movie but, but up they want to unite and they take 3 hours it takes 3 hour for the union in the 3 hours sometime is a girl's father which create problem sometime boy's father create problem sometimes villain create problem sometimes different reason are to create problem but ultimately they unite and they sing a song in the garden we also we or the audience we clap we oh it's very nice movie we come out but story line remains same friends same thing our movie of acid base which is of 3 minutes the name of hero is co2 heroine is bicarbonate so we so look so look so whenever you get acid base you look at hero bicarbonate heroin co2 look at bicarb look at co2 and you get answer in 2 second only look at the next question and give answer in 2 seconds not one two second question 4 how much is the bicarb 38 metabolic alkalosis co2 20 respiratory alkalosis so The right answer is D. Delhi. Metabolic alkalosis and respiratory alkalosis. Okay, friends. So, in acid-base disturbance, what you have to remember? Zoom, करेंगे सर. This is the what you have to remember it. You have to remember this much. If you remember this paragraph, you can answer any question on acid-base throughout the world. this is what you have to remember so friends now i hope you don't mind repeating this is such important box now everybody has to speak out wherever my finger goes ha bolenge like everybody awaaz kam aa rahi hai mujhe bol bolenge ya speak out Now reverse. Yeah, this what you have to remember it. Okay, so friends, you can revise acid base disturbance only in four seconds if you know this paragraph. So all what I will discuss about the basic. concepts ye sara basic concept tha and this what you have to remember box number 1 i hope all of you have made the box number 1 and now i can about 
all this thing. Okay.